consider these people DOA. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 1000 ways to die deaths. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be ranking the craziest, wildest, and most gruesome death scenes that were featured on the Spike series, A Thousand Ways to Die. Deaths from every season will be considered for this list, just so long as they left one serious impression upon audiences and fans. Number 10. Midnight Choker Somebody Here's a word to the wise, it's a very bad idea to try and swallow dangerous objects, even just for some kicks with your friends. This was, unfortunately, the cause of death for this poor guy. Hey Sonny, do the trick brother, do the trick man! The segment Midnight Choker featured a biker by the name of Sonny, who made it a habit of swallowing pool balls and bringing them back up with the greatest of ease. It's a pretty cool thing, but it's really, really dangerous. Unfortunately, Sonny met his demise trying to swallow the cue ball, which he didn't notice was slightly larger than the average pool ball. By the time he realized the size difference, it was too late. Number 9. Fecal Attraction some folks will do just about anything for a buzz, but in the case of a rocker named Cedric, it was all about a homegrown sort of high. This drug-deprived musician was on a tour stop in Utah and was forced to resort to Jankum, a psychedelic high achieved by huffing the fermented fumes of sewage or feces. The unorthodox method of intoxication proved to be the end of Cedric, however, when he made the mistake of sticking his head inside a porta potty. The methane gas from the toilet caused him to pass out and eventually asphyxiate due to a lack of oxygen. The gaseous fumes prevent hemoglobin or blood from accepting oxygen from the lungs and eventually uh, convulsions and death. Number 8. Lawn of the Dead. What goes up must come down. Just make sure you're safely out of the way when it happens. The subject of our next death didn't heed this advice and suffered fatal consequences. Matthew was partying with some friends during the hedonistic 1970s and decided to pull out the lawn darts for a bit of drunken shenanigans. Uh, who's up first? Drinking and sharp-tipped objects don't exactly make for the best of bedfellows, however, a notion that Matthew found out firsthand. Check this out, he was distracted by a flasher when tossing the deadly dart, and it flew directly up in the air and back down into his skull, killing him instantly. Number 7. Habeas Corpse Great view, isn't it? The next death on our list is an example of a practical joke gone horribly, fatally wrong. Ian's idea of fun was taking a running start and jumping into the tempered glass that lined the conference room of the prestigious law firm where he worked. This particular time, the window and frame gave way, leading Ian straight to his death. The lawyer plummeted to the ground below and died instantly as a result of severe skull and spinal injuries. This segment was based on the real-life death of Toronto lawyer Gary Hoy, although the A Thousand Ways to Die crew made Ian a sleazier sort of character, probably to lessen the impact of his loss. Number 6. Fansicle <laughs> Call this next entry a series of really unfortunate events. Fansicle follows a rabid football fan who goes the extra mile to support his favorite team. Not even sub-zero temperatures dissuade George from painting his body blue and heading shirtless to the game. Unfortunately for him, alcohol abuse and some arctic-level freezing weather meant that not even his closest friends could see that George was displaying all of the telltale signs of hypothermia, and he died right there in the stands. At least he passed away doing what he loved. Severe hyperthermia, your core body temperatures drop to below 86 degrees Fahrenheit. You suffer multiple organ failure. What kills you is cardiac arrest. Number five, titty titty bang bang. Just tell me what it is that you want. I want stripper boobs. This death scene from A Thousand Ways to Die is one of the most popular in the entire show's history, despite the fact that the science behind it has been debunked by Mythbusters. Titty Titty Bang Bang showed the bloody aftermath of a boob job gone wrong, when a stripper, who received water balloon implants, sees them explode while flying to her new job. Although the Mythbusters episode stated that there was no proof that this would actually happen at 35,000 feet, Titty Titty Bang Bang nevertheless took the novel concept and ran with it for all it was worth. She's going to be exposed to a slightly lower atmospheric pressure, which could lead to failure and catastrophic outcome. Number 4. Butt Plugged Damn, baby. Like the best thing I've seen in three years. I bet. We can't blame an ex-con for trying to avoid going back to prison, but this next sequence of events spelled trouble right from the get-go. Lucky Levinson was already batting a thousand when he decided to drive drunk with a prostitute in the passenger seat, but he was set for a trip back to the clink when he was pulled over by the popo. It's pepper spray. Take it! No! 
It's a parole violation. I go back for two years for this. Levinson decided to stick a can of pepper spray up his rectum to avoid confiscation by the police. But this went horribly wrong when a scuffle caused the can to empty its contents into Levinson's body, killing him. There's nowhere for that pepper to diffuse, so it's just constantly going to be irritating that lining, causing more and more damage. Number three, sex ray. What are we going to be examining today? <sighs> oh. Sex sells, and the creators of A Thousand Ways to Die know this all too well. Perhaps this was why they played fast and loose with the facts behind this next death, another one of the series' most popular. Sex Ray describes how one unfortunate patient received a lethal dose of radiation to the brain as a result of some hanky-panky between a doctor and a nurse. Well, this certainly looks like a fun place to work. <laughs> The death was inspired by the real-life fatalities caused by the Therac 25 linear accelerator, only sprinkled with a bit of the sauciness and black humor for which A Thousand Ways to Die is known. Our advice, stay out of hospitals. Number two, mine over splatter. War is hell. And sometimes, it can even come back to haunt us. The ex-Viet Cong soldiers who inhabit the mine over splatter segment found this out firsthand. These men were already tempting fate by playing Russian roulette together, but in a fake out, they actually come through the deadly game unscathed. <laughs> that is, until they decide to celebrate by stomping around without a care in the world. They meet their end in dramatic fashion when the vibrations from their feet cause a long forgotten landmine to explode, raining down fire, death, and body parts. When a human being steps on a landmine, it sends a electrical signal to a igniter and it explodes. Before we name our number one gross out pick, here are a few honorable mentions. But what's that smell? Something still cooking. Oh, it's Lionel. Instead of giving his robot a brain, He should have put his own to better use. Number one, a Chainus runs through it. Chainus? Gonna make me famous. Body piercing and modification have come a long way, but sometimes a bad idea is just that. A bad idea. A tattoo artist named Zeke found this out the hard way when he decided upon an extravagant mod he called a Chainus, wherein a chain was strung in his mouth, through his digestive system, and out his anus. As if this wasn't painful sounding enough, a close call with an angry customer led to Zeke's chain being caught on a forklift. Hey! 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 The resulting pressure not only lifted Zeke up off the ground, but it sliced through his entire digestive system and throat, leaving him a bloody and disgusting mess. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.